Good morning. I'm Kathy Kiley, president of the Ad Club, and welcome back to the Big Orange Couch. Today, sitting on the couch with me is Steve Fuller, who is the chief marketing officer for L.L. Bean. So you're just coming off of a great one-hour speech, so thank you for joining us on the couch. Oh, thank you for um, inviting me. Let's backtrack a little bit because I love to get some personal information sure. on the CMOs when we sit on the couch. You're a, you're a maniac, right? I am a yeah. I'm a, I'm a true maniac. Uh, grew up in the middle of Maine. Uh, went to undergrad at Bates. Moved down to Boston uh, soon after and started working for Yankee Publishing. Went to grad school here in Boston um, at, at BC. Raised a family here, was a member of the Ad Club for a few years. That's right. And moved back to Maine in uh, 1992 or 1993, somewhere in that ballpark. So you've been there quite a while. I've been there for a few years now. You've yeah. seen things change. I have, Incredibly. Yeah. And one of the big things that you talked about today, which is so, um, it has such a nice emotional connection for people, is the 100th anniversary. Yeah. And yeah. you talked about a few of the fun things that you're doing, and one of the things um, you talked about was this boot. <laughs> yeah, the bootmobile? The L.L. Bean boot. Talk yeah. a little bit about the bootmobile. Well, we, we wanted something that was was going to be fun, and we wanted something that was unique and, and a little unexpected. And we came across this idea of creating a bootmobile. So it's 13 feet high, it's 20 feet long, it's built over a Ford F-250 pickup truck. Oh, I was going to ask you that. Oh, yeah, only a kid from Maine knows what's <laughs> underneath our truck. And we've, we're having a, a blast with it. And it, as I mentioned in, this, in the presentation today, we really kept the people who knew about it a very small group. Yeah. And it was, it was made in Florida. And our biggest question was, how do you bring it to Maine without people knowing about it? Right. And we looked for a trailer. We couldn't find one. So we finally said, oh, just drive it up in the middle of the night. <laughs> people won't know. The next morning I woke up and in the Twitter feed there was a, a tweet from a person who said, I think I was just passed by a giant bean boot. I have to stop drinking. <laughs> oh, that's great. And you brought it into um, Times Square. Which we brought was it into Times Square. Yeah. Eye opening. Yep. We brought it to Times Square. Today is its first trip to Boston. We, we worry a little bit about Boston because of all the bridges, so it's getting a special Clarence. escort out of town right now. But it's. Um, but it's, they're going to drive around for a little while today. That's great. Talk about some of the other community things that you're doing sort of around the 100th anniversary. Sure. The biggest thing we're working on is this million moment mission. And getting kids outdoors is both important for us as people and important to us as a brand. That, those are our future customers. So this ability for customers to talk about their outdoor activities, go to our website, help us donate money to the National Park Youth Programs, we're really excited about that, and it's, it's going really but well so far. So important to get kids outside. It is. It, it really is. And those are though, not only is it good for their health, but it's good for our health as a business. So oh. it, it works for everybody. You said something in the presentation today that was, I thought, remarkable. Talk a little bit about, um, and I'm getting off the 100th anniversary sure. for yeah. a second, but um, you talked about sales and sales increase on mobile phones. We had a great increase in traffic there this year on our website. Robust. Yep. But as we were looking into that traffic, it just it was behaving differently. It just didn't mm. act like nor like normal traffic. And as we started to peel that um, that traffic, it was coming from mobile. And the I mentioned in the presentation today. We've seen mobile coming, and we've been sort of taking very gradual, I would say, frugal steps to to react to mobile. This year, this fall especially, it exploded. And if you think of mobile as anything of an iPad and below, that drove 50% of our year-over-year -year traffic increase, and that's a big number for us. So that, that's an investment area for us next year for sure. And do you suspect it's a younger target, or do you know that yet? I can tell you that it's a little younger, but it's getting old really fast, yeah. really fast. And I, I think it's going to be one of these things that at the rate it's going, it, it's, going to defy, it's going to defy demos very quickly. Yeah. People are so enthusiastic about the brand. How do you tie? How do you tie into the community, and how do you keep that love alive for the brand? The community has always been a, um, an important being stakeholder, and, and I know that's a word that can sometimes be overused, but we take that very. Our stakeholder concept is something that the company's built on, and. So when we're celebrating our 100th, we want to tie back to the stakeholders and be, and be a little more explicit and a little more um, invitational to the community. So we talked today about just letting people come into the website and talk about something other than product and talk about their experiences. 
that's a way of, of getting the community to engage with you in a way that they've kind of been waiting for and that we weren't quite ready to do. So that's one. And the other is just hands-on. So I didn't talk about it much today, but there's, a, there's going to be a company volunteer day where we'll go out as a group and do some projects. But nice. within the Bean brand, whether it's me, I was a ski coach in the town of Freeport for seven years. Um, you've got coaches there, you've got a, a lot of people in which they understand the value of giving back to the community. Very cool. And you know there's that old saying, you had me at free shipping? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you had me at free shipping at the holidays. I thought that was huge. Talk a little bit about those buses, the bus yeah. wraps. So um, it didn't, I was surprised that no one asked the question today, but um, we had free shipping at L.L. Bean from 1912 to 1992. So 80 years. And then we went to paid. And we've been talking about this a lot. And the advent of the web really changed how people started thinking about shipping. So we brought it back last year. And we, went, we said we took a 20 year test and now we know the answer. We want to go back to free shipping. And the place we kicked it off was here in Boston. And some folks had a very clever idea of dressing up some um, some buses and wrapping them to look like LL Bean packages. And we, we were very surprised and pleased with the amount of customer reaction to that. Huge, it was huge response. It was huge, yeah. yeah. So you could ride free in the buses for I think it was a week. Yeah. And it was that was a f very fun promotion. Well, thank you so much. I oh, really thanks, appreciate really, your being you here. And we've me. worn yeah. you out. I'm sure of all <laughs> yeah, this talking to today. <laughs> and thank you all for joining us once again with Steve Fuller, Chief Marketing Officer of LL Bean, here on the Big Orange Couch. We'll see you soon.